Hi Pisces, welcome. Thanks so much for coming in and spending some time with me. Let's do a reading for you for the month of November or whenever you find this and you feel like it resonates. Okay? Now do only take what resonates and let the rest go. Let's start with some oracle cards and see what we get. Spirit has your back. Wonderful overall energy. That means you're protected during this time, so that's great. Here, what's coming in is reclaim your power. And you don't need to stress because spirit does have your back. It's all going to turn out okay. People or person in your life. Truth transcends illusion. Finances. Oh, let's hop on it. Okay. Turn knowledge into wisdom. I think this card has come out either in every reading or almost every reading, so it might be a collective thing. So it's finances, the future, bring your ideas to life. So that's really nice. And something good that's happening. Co-create with spirit. Very nice again. And at the bottom of the deck, you have set healthy boundaries. And what's at the bottom of the deck kind of has an overall energy to it. So it might be a good idea this month or this time to set healthy boundaries if there's any that needs to be set. Okay. Now spirit has your back. So you are protected. Which is wonderful. Let's. See what the tarot would like to share. Okay. Major Arcana. The lovers. So this can either be an important decision that you need to make. And or something to do with a romantic relationship. Let's get a clarification on that. Is this about an important decision or a relationship? Oh, burn fell on the floor. Let me get that. Okay, what you have here is you need to take care of yourself. You need to make yourself a priority. What you need, you need to provide for yourself. If that's time away, time out, to rebuild your strength, to fill your cup back up. It is time to take care of you. And here you have strength. So, be strong. Also be compassionate. It looks to me like it could be either or, but I definitely feel like it is a big decision. Yeah. That you're needing to make. And it could be a big decision. Well, that flew too. It could be a big decision about a romantic partner, but it doesn't have to be. Reclaim your power. So what's coming in is you need to take action. You need to be slow, deliberate. Make for sure that you're taking care of everything that needs to be addressed when it comes to this, okay? So you can reclaim your power. Now, something that's very interesting, not in this deck, but another deck that I have, the Knight of Pentacles says that there is somebody protecting you. And right here, you have Spirit has your back. Spirit is protecting you. So, you have two cards, which is 
really wonderful. You're definitely being protected during this time. So feel safe in that. Reclaim your power. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's coming in for you. Okay, now when it comes to others, truth transcends illusion. Let's see what we have here. The King of Pentacles. You need to take a leadership role in this. Use your compassion. But also be, you know, prudent is what's coming to me. And I never use that word. But be, be prudent. Um, see things for how they are. And make decisions accordingly. Now this is also the energy of having the Midas touch. So, by using your truth and making decisions, it's going to be really beneficial to you. You're going to be able to see the truth and create changes, if need be, that are going to benefit you. Mm -hmm. Okay, finances. Let's see what we have for that. Turn knowledge into wisdom. And here you have the Page of Cups. So there's an opportunity coming in. Or that might very well be presented to you. And it's going to be something that you really are emotionally apt to want to do. You know, you something that you love. Something that you feel you'll love. So the upcoming time for you could prove to be very beneficial when it comes to your finances, starting something new that you really want to do, and really beneficial emotionally. Now let's see what the future has to say. It is saying bring your ideas to life, so that could just be perfect with this. Mm -hmm. An opportunity coming in and bring your ideas to life. You have the emperor. So you need to um, take a leadership role in this. Make the decisions that really benefit you as well as others, if that is part of this, and go for it. So the, yeah, this is definitely saying go for what it is that you truly want. It is going to prove to be very beneficial to you. Mm -hmm. It's a very strong energy. Okay, now the crow spirit, co-create with spirit. This is something good that's coming in. And these just fell on my lap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, I'm giggling. It's just beautiful. Look at this. Here you have the emperor. Here you have the empress. Much power, wonderful decision making, lots of abundance coming in, and compassion, lots of compassion. Just beautiful. And here, you and the people that you really care about are going to be very happy. Oh my gosh, this is, I mean, it's really a wonderful, wonderful energy here. So you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is about your roots potentially. Maybe receiving an inheritance or maybe leaving a legacy. But I love this deck when it comes to how they show this. You see the family or the people that you love together, happy. It's a very wonderful filling time. I don't think you could get better than this. This has to be just absolutely the best part of any reading I've done during this group. Abundance, happiness, joy, caring, more happiness, more abundance. And this is you and those that you care about. It's beautiful energy. I love it. And at the bottom of the deck is saying, what you want is here for you. 
You need to take the action to go for it, but it's here for you. So, yeah, I love this. It looks like very good times are coming, but you will need to take the action. And now it also talks about here setting healthy boundaries. But I don't think that's a huge concern here because you have a lot of power and authority with you during this time. So it should be relatively easy if you do need to set boundaries to set them. And where I see that possibly coming in would be in this energy right here where it could be an important decision. But regardless of what it is, everything is looking like it's going to turn out beautifully. I love this reading. Okay, let's see what the universe would like to share. Okay, this is you taking action, going for your goal. And it can be in the form of communication. It's a pretty quick moving energy, but it's where you're seeing clearly. You have a wonderful understanding and you're using your wisdom to go forward. Here is a challenging energy. This is your thoughts where you feel kind of stuck. And where I see that applying would be here. But by taking care of yourself and using your strength, you're going to make the decision to get past that. And remember, spirit has your back. You're protected. King of Pentacles. Again, universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Going forward, making the decisions that are caring, that bring you the abundance that you want. And at the bottom of the deck... This can um, have one of two meanings, or potentially both. This is saying that either you need to have a strategy in place, and I could easily see that, especially with the Knight of Pentacles, slow moving, very deliberate. Also, the Knight of Swords. But having a strategy in place, you know, kind of like blocking it out, how you are going to go forward. Either that or somebody potentially is doing something that is not in your best interest. Let's get a clarifying card for that. Okay, is... This Seven of Swords about needing to have a strategy? Or is it somebody not having Pisces' best interest at heart? Okay, you have the Moon saying you need to use your intuition and that there's something you might not see. It will come to light when the time is right. Page of Wands, something that you truly want to go for, that you really desire. And the High Priestess, use your intuition. So you have the Moon and the High Priestess, both of them talk about using your intuition and that the possibility exists or something that you might not see. So it could be either or, but I really get the feeling that you, that you need to have a strategy in place. But it could be either or, okay? So a wise thing to do would be have a strategy. You know, make the itinerary or make a bulleted list of things that you need to do to go forward to achieve your goal. Now, also though, the something you might not see that will come to light when the time is right could be somebody not having 
your back, you know, um, doing something kind of sneaky. But because of the Page of Wands being between these two, that is you really wanting to go for something that you desire, it makes me feel more like this is where you need a strategy. Because using your intuition, both of these are sandwiching this going for your desire. Mm -hmm. And they're both major arcana. So yeah, it's I get the feeling it is definitely you need a strategy so you know how to go forward in the best way possible to achieve your goals. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that, you have the King of Pentacles again. So you have it three times. Definite message from the universe. Have the compassion and love, but make the decisions that are practical and that will serve you well. Let's see what the angels would like to share. <laughs> Don't stop. Okay. Yeah, whatever it is that you are going for, the angels are saying, do not stop. You're, you know, you're getting this momentum going. Keep going. And look for a sign. It, you know, the synchronicities can be very subtle. They can be very bold. And anywhere in between. So you might have to keep your eyes open. Maybe not. But you might have to, you know, be aware of the subtleties. But regardless, there will be something sometime during this time where it is going to lead you or point you in the right direction. But you have to be aware that it's going on, right? Thank you so much. I really hope this helps. And have a wonderful month. Much love. Bye.